Today we'll show you how to add a new HMI to your Easy Access 2.0 domain. In this example, we'll be using one of our CMT SVR 102 smart servers. The first step is to log into your domain. If you don't have an account yet, just click on the Create Domain Account and you can log in. Here we're going to log in with our Maple Systems account. You can see all of our users listed here. And from the Devices tab, you can see the devices that we've added to our domain previously. Now to add a new one, just click on the Add HMI button. And this server has already been activated with the Easy Access 2.0 license. So we just need to add it to the domain and we'll use the session ID and password method. We also sell CMT gateways, for example, that use an activation card instead. But for today, we'll show you how to use the session ID and password. So where do you get this information? To get this, you just need to create a simple project in EB Pro. And this project just includes a navigation button. This button allows you to access window number 76, that's the Easy Access 2.0 settings window once you've downloaded the project to the HMI. By default you start with window 10 in a new project, but you've got all these other template windows in EB Pro, and what we'll focus on today is Easy Access 2.0 settings, window number 76. Here you can see it's got a session ID and password field, as well as a start and stop button. The start and stop button to start the service of the VPN on the device. So this is all we need to access from the CMT server once we've downloaded the project. So looking at your window 10 again, we just have this function key here. All this does is display the pop-up window, window 76. And that way you can access it from the CMT server. Now we're going to launch CMT Viewer now so we can log in to the server. In our case, we've already downloaded the project to it. Here in CMT Viewer, you can see the CMT SVR as well as the IP address that it's been assigned, ending in 100.1. Now let's look at our PC IP address as well. For the network interface on our PC, we've got an IP address ending in 100.2. So these are on the same local network, and we can log in on that local network now to the CMT server. Just enter the default password of six ones. Now we're logged in, we can see that function key. When we click on it, it's going to pull out that pop-up window for Easy Access 2.0 settings. And we've already clicked start in this example. Once you do this on your project, it will bring up the session ID and password, and that's what you see there. If you have any problems, just check your network connection. And now that we have this, we can go back to our domain. So let's just move this window over here. Now we'll type this in, session ID, and password, and then we just have to click on Assign. And it says Hardware Key Assigned Successfully. We can go ahead and close this now. Now in our HMI Devices list, we see the CMT SVR is listed. Now by default, none of our users have access to it. So we're going to assign a user. Let's go ahead and click the checkbox click on Edit HMI, and then expand this User tab here. We're going to let Christine have access to this device so she can log in remotely. Save the settings, and we can close this. Now we'll go ahead and launch Easy Access 2.0, and we're going to log in as Christine. We're using the Easy Access 2.0 PC app. It's the client app and we can see it's listed here as online for Christine click on the connect button and you can already see in the project where we're logged in with CMT viewer locally it says occupied that means that a remote user is logging in using the easy access 2.0 VPN so at this point we've added the HMI to our domain we've given access to our user Christine in the domain 
and should be able to click on the CMT viewer button from within the Easy Access 2.0 app here and then she can log in and control the CMT server from anywhere in the world. That's all for today. If you have any questions about Easy Access 2.0, we encourage you to check out our free user manual on our website, maplesystems.com. Thanks for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.